this is Scrappy Shrimp. He is a small PC, portable and flexible with the components that you can choose. The problem is that it's running a bit too hot. The small boy is getting a bit choked up. You can see right there, yup, no airflow. The only exhaust fan is through the power supply, which isn't really good. Not to worry, it's not the size that matters, but how you use it. Let's fix this PC's confidence issues, but not in a conventional way. Let me show you why. When I was playing Warframe, this PC was getting extremely warm, to the point where the PC would actually shut down once due to how hot it was getting. Now this is an extreme cause for concern when heat cannot dissipate from the case fast enough. All of the IDA64 tests were run for 30 minutes on a one run average. So there was only one test done on IDA64 for the case panel on and off. All of the tests done for Warframe were done in the map called Ephiro on a two run average for both the case panel on and off. So I ran a test with IDA64 with the side panels on on the case and with them off. For the CPU, it was around about 94.47 with the case panel on and with it off 83.77 for the CPU. For the GPU, it was 71.93 with the panel on and with the panel off it was 67.84. You can see here on the graph with the case off, the temperature of the CPU was much better due to there being more air being able to get inside the case. Now for Warframe, something similar follows suit, although not as much of a big difference. For the CPU, with the panel on, it was 72.62, and for the panel off, it was 60.39. Now for the graphics card, it was 75.68 with the panel on, and with the panel off, it was 71.45. Sorting out the airflow from the front was the first priority. Since there was room in the front cavity, it's easy to remove these pieces for more airflow. Here is is the more unconventional part. I want to do this on a budget and I don't have any spare fans on me besides this massive pack of Intel stock coolers. I bought them way back in 2019 and you're not gonna like what I'm about to do to them. Unfortunately the frame of them is not square so it'll be a slight challenge to put them in the case. I tried to snap the legs off from the stock coolers but to snap the frame off and this is where it starts to get a bit brutal. I have a Dremel tool to cut the legs off which is much more effective and keeps the frames intact. Without the circular frames the fan blades will constantly touch the case. This is the weird part, so I'm putting Intel stock cooler fans into this PC case. In the front, I can only fit one by one, so one behind each other and not two side by side. Whilst I could have just had one fan in the front, I prefer to have two for intake, so I've placed one behind each other. They are overlapping, but I don't know if this would inhibit airflow. My logic was that if there's more surface area, hopefully there'll be more air that's coming into the case. With that, I cut the legs off two more Intel stock cooler fans, which I tried to hot glue to the actual metal case, but that was actually a problem. Just because when I need to slide this case open, it doesn't slide properly anymore because the fans are in the way. Whilst this would have been a cool one to put the fans right onto the actual case, I can't do it in this instance. So in the meantime, I've just got them hanging with zip ties. Now I know this doesn't look the best, and to be honest, it's this is all done on a budget, so I'm trying to keep to that as much as I can. So they're just going to be sitting with zip ties and tied really tightly so they're really taut and they're just going to sit there. The next part was using a PWM fan hub. So this fan hub contacts all the fans together. So I've got two exhaust and two intake as well. Additionally, I have also have this other fan from another Intel stock cooler that's just sitting on the side of the case here. So that's another additional fan. All of them are plugged into this PWM controller. One more thing is to insulate the fan hub using some sort of electrical tape or plastic enclosure so it doesn't short out the PC while you're using it. Yeah, I know this PC isn't the best but hey, it gets the job done for me. Let's take a look and see if the fans actually made any sort of difference. For the results, I will have one graph showing the recorded temperatures after the fans are installed but I won't be commenting on them directly and then I will have a percentage difference graph for the fans not installed 
versus the fans installed for both the case panel on and the case panel off. For IDA64, with the side panel on, the CPU improved by 14.2% and the GPU temperature was worse off by 2.5%. For the side panel off, the CPU improved by 7.6% and the GPU was better off by 3%. The CPU's temperatures were definitely better for both the side panel on and off, but the GPU's temperatures were slightly worse off when the side panel was on. For Warframe, with the side panel on, the CPU improved by 5.4% and the GPU temperature was better off by 1.2%. For the side panel off, the CPU was worse off by 2% and the GPU was better off by 3.6%. Only a very slight improvement on Warframe, if anything at all here for both the CPU and GPU. With the side panel off, the CPU temperature was slightly worse. Although the temperature only improved very slightly, this is a good indication that there is at least a little bit of increased airflow from the fans installed. When pushing the system to the max on IDA64, there was an improvement in temperatures. What's quite clear as well here is that the CPU was receiving more airflow than it was previously, and the graphics card didn't have as much airflow going towards it. Now this could be a symptom of how the direction of airflow is traveling as well as how much air is actually getting to the graphics card compared to the CPU. The CPU had two fans that were pointed towards it that were bringing air inside, whereas the GPU only had two exhaust fans, so it wasn't receiving as much airflow compared to the CPU in terms of the difference after. What would be interesting is to put two intake fans for the graphics card and see if that makes any more of a difference but I don't have that on me at the moment. What I will need to look into is a fan configuration and direction of airflow. I was just using what I had around me and it was a very fun project. On a case like this where there's limited airflow, you'd usually be using less demanding and lower power consuming parts, which is why this case isn't great for airflow. I still think it's a good case because it's nice and small, but at the same time, it was beneficial to add some sort of Intex fans for peace of mind going forward. That about sums up this video. If you like this video, I'll have more benchmarking videos coming out in the future, so make sure to subscribe to see them. Check out YSTech.org for some more awesome content. But other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!